Hey y'all, hey. Today we are reading Noodle. Magic Ramen. Oh, one again. Ramen, ramen. Magic. Magic. Ramen. Magic ramen. Good job. Ramen is noodles, so you were close. Momofuku Endo picked his way through the rubble on his way home from work. Even though World War II had ended over a year ago, much of Osaka, Japan still lay in ruins. Across the street, a long line of people wound down the sidewalk. It was winter and they shivered in their raggedy clothes. What are they waiting for? Ando wondered. At the head of the line, billows of steam rose from a shack. Inside, a man was selling Raymond noodle soup. Bad harvest, rationing, and war had made food scarce. The poor ate grass and bark to survive. Orphans scrounged through garbage for something to eat. Those lucky enough to have some money waited for hours and paid outrageous prices for a meager bowl of ramen. Is it ramen or ramen? Whatever comes up. Endo went home, but he couldn't forget the hungry people. The world is peaceful only when everyone has enough to eat, he realized. Endo decided that food would be his life's work. He started a business making salt. He caught and dried fish. He created nutritious food for people who were sick. With every new product, every new job, and every new business, Endo thought about the line of starving people. He thought about them for over 10 years. Then... One of Endo's business deals ended badly. He was penniless. Once again, Endo remembered the thin and hungry people. Wouldn't it be wonderful, he thought, if whole families could have noodles whenever they wanted? No more waiting in line in the cold. No more high prices. No more empty stomachs. He dreamed about a new kind of ramen. His ramen wouldn't be like other noodles. It would be more nutritious. In a shed in his backyard, Endo mixed flour, salt, and water together. Mama, do that again. You did? Yeah. Make me eat. Is it making? Yep, he making it. Wow. He added eggs. Wow. He added powdered milk. He even added spinach. Nothing worked. The noodles were too crumbly or too sticky, or too lumpy. What they got to make? I don't know, let's see. Is Gigi something? No. And though it kept experimenting with different ingredients. One day, he cranked the handle of his Mama. noodle making machine Mama. and tested the noodles Mama. that came out. Mama, that's slime. That's slime? Of course, it's slime over there. They didn't crumble, no. stick, or lump. No. It was just the right mix of ingredients. And I realized the key to the preparation of food yeah. is balance. Mama, she's right over here. You need to eat it from my crib. But what was Raymond without soup? And remember the cold and hungry people yeah. Chicken soup warmed up cold bodies, but took hours to make. His ramen would be tasty and easy to cook. The simple addition of hot water will release flavor from the noodles and turn it into a hot chicken soup. Endo kept experimenting. He used chicken soup to make the dough. He brushed seasonings onto the noodles. He dipped the noodles into soup. Once again, nothing worked. 
The noodles were too brittle, or too soft, or too soggy. Let me see. Too soggy? Too soggy. Maybe by this one. That's for eating. Let's see what happens next. Okay. Endo kept experimenting with different methods. One day, he sprinkled Mama. noodles with soup from a watering can Mama. then tossed Mama. and separated them. The noodles soaked up the soup and dried. Mm -hmm. It was just the right Daddy, procedure. <clears throat> he Mama. added hot Mama. water to the dried noodles Mama. and stirred. Mama. The water Mama. now tasted like soup. Look at the pictures, Cairo. No, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Can you see the other page? Mm -mm. But the noodles were too tough. They still had to be cooked on the stove. Endo remembered the tired and hungry people. He wanted his ramen to be fast and convenient. It could be made with hot water in a few minutes. People should be able to make it anywhere, anytime. Day after day, Endo experimented. Night after night, he failed. Month after month, he kept trying. Nothing worked. Cairo, please stop making all that noise. It's what I got. If I can get it, get it. What? One night, Endo watched his wife, Masako, fry tempura. She coated vegetables and seafood in batter and dropped them into hot oil. The water in the batter evaporated and left tiny holes in the now crunchy coating. He stared at the tempura. The batter was made from flour and water, just like noodles. Yada! He cried. That's it! He raced to his shed and threw some noodles into a pot of hot oil. They sizzled and popped and crisped. Endo scooped the fried noodles out of the oil and into a bowl. He added hot water and waited. The water seeped into the tiny holes and softened the noodles. Soft noodles? Why do you get noodles? Two minutes later, he plunged a pair of chopsticks into the bowl. He stirred and slurped. The noodles were tender and chewy. They floated in a bowl of hot and tasty soup. After a year of trying, Endo had finally done it. He had invented instant ramen. Endo worked hard to make enough instant ramen to sell. The whole family pitched in. Masako, Suma, Kuki, and even little Akimi. Endo gave demonstrations. He poured hot water. He waited two minutes. Mayo no ramen! The astonished customers exclaimed. Magic ramen! Mama, I want Go eat your apples and cherries. They ain't not hungry. Soon, everyone was eating Ando's ramen. Poor people, children, busy workers, even royalty. Mama, uh, Quentin. I just wish it would be cold. Fix what? Ando's ramen was nutritious, tasty, and convenient. Thin, cold, tired, and hungry people ate it and felt better. Endo smiled. Kyra, Quentin, please stop. Peace follows from a full stomach, he said. Ever since Momofuku Endo and his backyard invention have fostered peace, one bowl of noodles at a time. Ever since Momofuku Endo and his backyard invention, invention have fostered peace. One bowl of noodles at a time. Quentin. The end. Magic ramen.